of spring taking the big news today is they have solved the problem in Greece. There is no more debt problem, of course, until 2014. Of course, didn't they solve it in 2010 and 2012? Hmm. Also, Comic-Con officially starts today in San Diego. So for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. It looks like the gang of six numbers aren't quite what they said. I know, you know, BS says that's you know, like, yeah, they're using Obama math. It wasn't, it wasn't 4.7 trillion in savings. It's only 3.7 trillion in savings. It's not one bit, one trillion in new taxes. It's, oh, that's right. It's 3.7 trillion in new taxes. Yeah, and who taught them how to add? Um, that means there was no cuts in the budget whatsoever. They're going to raise taxes to cover everything, but they're not really raising taxes. They're cut. They're uh, they're lowering the tax rate by uh, cutting loopholes, which of course then they found out that they're not lower. They're 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 closing the loopholes, but adding new taxes to millionaires and billionaires. But uh, they said it has. They said it has the same chance of of uh, being passed by the House and Senate as does uh, Tim Pawlenty of getting the Republican nomination for president, which is zero. Mm -hmm. And Democrats admit only Obama could handle the problems that Bush and the Republicans caused. Oh, that's why right now the Democrats are getting ready to fill the candidate against him. Actually, several candidates are getting... They're talking about Hillary Clinton again. Here's the, the question. Would we be in this mess if Hillary had been president? And, and, and the Obama people are trying to avoid making statements. So, uh, I listening last night, they had a Catholic priest and he said, Son, would you, would you continue to lie to me, uh, a Catholic priest, and you being a good Catholic? And he said, Well, well you know, the, I think that she might have made a good president. No, that is not the question that was asked, son. Can you tell, I want to, the question was, do you think we would be in this mess if Hillary was president? Well, and he goes, and he said, no more well, son. I am a Catholic priest. Consider this to be a confessional. And I know. Uh, I saw part of that. Yeah. The guy who wouldn't answer the question. He wouldn't answer the question, and the Catholic priest got him. He refused. He did give a, well, I think she would have made a good president, which is basically, in the end, saying that they would not be in this mess if, he, if Hillary would be there and not Obama. And nearly two dozen dead. A scorching heat wave moves east. Oh God! It's just a heat wave. They do it every summer. It's been every summer they I mean, have a heat I, wave. I've been around. God, I've been around forever. And the heat happens. Okay, they didn't used to have air conditioning when I was little. We had the best we had was swamp coolers, and my mother never could understand how a swamp cooler worked. So she would turn the swamp cooler off, not understanding that it has to run continually to keep cool air coming into the house. So I know what it, I've been here when, when it got, it really got warm when I was young. Yeah, and we're under a marine layer and it's cool. Yeah. Yeah, and people back east are going, what are you complaining about? Because you, it's loud, it's crappy weather to shoot in. Yeah. You can't, high def equipment cannot work in, um, with, with, uh, with cloud coverage, fog, and every god awful thing you think of with it, so. And strong earthquake hit Central Asia and buildings damaged. Yeah, well, the earthquakes just keep coming. I think they said there's been like 7,000 quakes since the big one hit Japan. Oh, really? Yeah. And even though Obama is now trailing named Republicans, he, uh, unnamed, unnamed Republicans or named? Named Republicans, oh. as well as unnamed Republicans. He has all but been officially declared re-elected. I know. Well, Obama, okay. Uh, okay, I know this is Rex Obama. I, I cover Rex's ears. We don't want him to hear something. The arrogant individual said that he knows that he has problems because of what Bush and the Republicans did to the economy. He inherited a bad situation, and Bush and Republicans have just made it worse. Bush isn't president, folks. Uh -huh. and, and, but he said, there's no one in the field that can beat me. Mm -hmm. I mean, you talk about arrogance. Mm -hmm. you know, should, he can uncover his ears again. And Obama opened a short-term debt fix if big deal will pass. His idea of the big deal is $3.7 trillion in new taxes and no reduction. But as they all, as everybody has pointed out the fact um, that it doesn't deal with the debt ceiling. It deals with reduction of the thing. And you know why they're doing it? They're trying to do this? Because, um, you know, I, I'll cover this, his ears again. 
they didn't seem to mention a minor fact that on the 19th, one of the one of the rating agencies downgraded us from a, a three to a two plus. Now, mm -hmm. that's one of the big agencies, and they said, okay, we're talking. Even Fox went over it because basically Fox Business doesn't want it. With the, with the situation Fox in at the moment, you want to make things work by saying our rating has been downgraded already. <laughs> yeah, and five North Koreans sell steroids tests at Women's World Cup. Yeah, okay. They uh, uh, like uh, watching the uh, watching the news. The American women are favorites, according to the American women, of winning the gold medal next year in in London. And they said. They couldn't. I heard the woman who's a reporter, her daughter's, she's a soccer mom and actually a soccer coach, said, you, you people couldn't even beat the Japanese. Mm -hmm. uh, and he said, you, want, you expect to beat the big teams when they come out next year? They said they weren't playing this year mm -hmm. because they're all on suspension. So. And police bus, pricey prostitution ring catering to Wall Street. I know. BS says... They're always busting pricey pot. Okay, we're going to put it this way. A few years ago, uh, David Letterman said to the wife of, of Leslie Moonves in a joke, you know, I could, Julie Changer, and he said, you know, you look like a $5,000 a night hooker. Mm -hmm. And then she, he got this call from Moonves, which he thought would, he, made, he went too far. And, uh, and uh, he gave it to her because he wanted to talk to her. He said, uh, Leslie said, thank you. <laughs> so, yeah. But that's you they, they okay, five thousand dollars a night in New York City. That's normal folks. That's not abnormal for the guys that got the money. Ask Charlie Sheen. Uh, well, maybe we're in the wrong business. <laughs> yeah. Well, there is a reason it's a service business. That's right. It's the it's the it's the oldest profession on record, folks. And it still comes out there because there's a need. That's right. <laughs> and Obama's open to short-term debt fix if big deal will pass. Yeah, I know. We, I oh, that's me? right. That's um, right. And please bust, oh, Democrat holds on to Wisconsin seat in recall election. Okay, I'm, I'm going to try this one very simply. If you're in a district that wouldn't vote Republican if hell was to freeze over and the Democrat retained a seat, is that news? No, it's news only if the Republican wins. Oh. That's right. And Yosemite Park officials say three hikers are presumed dead. Yosemite can be a dangerous place, folks. I mean, there are places... They do have Half Dome there. Yeah, I mean, but you realize that you can... The backside of Yosemite is in Nevada. Mm -hmm. If you get lost in Yosemite in California, you could end up going toward... Okay, you think that you're going to safety and you get turned around... And uh, you basically can't see the, anything up above because the, 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 every, the forest covers up everything. You start the wrong direction. You could walk yourself totally into the wrong direction. Or you could, if you go north, you go wrong. If you go east, you go wrong. If you go west, you go wrong. There's only one way to get out of Yosemite, and uh, that is south. And Obama eyes more deficit talks. Yeah, because yesterday they went nowhere again because the Republicans are being intransient because... They, you know, he called himself the only adult in the room when the Republicans are in the room, which is basically how to get them to come on board. But they, they already know um, they've only got 70 Republicans that are willing to stand on their principles. The others are going to vote to raise the debt ceiling and give Obama his victory. They got, they, the Republicans are about to assure the re-election of Obama. Mm. And snakes threaten Hawaii's fragile island ecosystem. They're not supposed to have pets for snakes in Hawaii. You can't get snakes into Hawaii, and yet people, they're catching pythons. They're, pe or they're, they're catching all sorts of things that, that have came into the state. You can't get through anywhere with a snake, and yet people are bringing them in. And, oh, really? Which means they got to be being smuggled in on boats, which are pulling up uh, on, alongside a beach somewhere and unloading the snakes. And Feds, Harvard Ethics Fellow, hacked nearly five million papers. Yeah, that knows so much for the... You know, you're doing research, though, so. Mm. And, Jerry, U.S. government rightfully took family's gold coins. Now, here the trick is. They, uh, the, the coins were supposed to have been destroyed in the Roosevelt era. Eighty years ago, the coins were supposed to be destroyed. Ten of them were $75 million. Were wow. found in a safety deposit box that had been sealed for 50 years. The problem is, is that there is no proof that the coins were ever stolen. 
Um, and since there was no proof the coins were ever stolen, you can't work on the assumption that they're stolen coins. So therefore, they've got to have a judge make the decision on whether the coins are being destroyed or handed over. They, I love this. They said, well, this family obviously stole the coins. Well, no, they, there was their grandfather's safety deposit box. Well, if and it's their grandfather's had, safety deposit box still for 50 years. He, he'd been dead for 50 years. But they've been paying this stuff because... Um, you know, it, 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 it's basically his son didn't want to look in a safety deposit box. And finally the grandchildren decided, we're paying it, which ridiculous. Let's, let's go look and see what's in there, and, right? And there were $75 million worth of double eagle coins. And the government jumped, because the people did what they, what they did. They contacted the government and said, we found these. And the government confiscated them as stolen property. What? And, uh, and a federal, and a, and, a, and a panel of feds decided they were obviously stolen. No. You have to prove they were stolen. That is the law. And they can't prove uh, they were stolen, so they're going to have a judge decide one way or the other. First of all, they're entitled to $7.5 million no matter what. Why? That's a finder's fee. Oh. And they just want to destroy the coins, period. Jeez, those are major collector's things. They're collector's items. Because, okay. The people didn't destroy the double eagles. They kept them. The, okay, uh, what it was is there were 40-some thousand made. Uh, the I would keep it. <laughs> the government decided, ordered people to destroy the coins. Most of them didn't. Well, see, part of it is when the government ordered them to destroy it, then they all kept them. They kept them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he put his in a safe. He put his in a safety deposit box. And snakes threaten Hawaii's fragile island I ecosystem. I know. She likes the news. So I know. Well, reason. you know what? It's a, and court temporarily reinstates don't ask and don't tell. Oh, I love because the Ninth, court, Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, who basically instated it against the rules, fell, oh. all of a sudden found out hey, we don't have the legal right to overrule something that's going to take place. I know, because we got busy talking does, about the coins. <laughs> I, I thought we were going long, but I have, I can't, I, 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 I know. A Monty bubbles in from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, uh, you know, the world passes many people by. Unfortunately, a lot of those people that pass, you know, passed by the world simply refuse to change, even though they know it's passing them by. Yeah,